now we have to write a program to add a node in the middle of the linked list right so uh, there are two methods to add a node in the middle of the linked list the first method is uh, by counting the number of nodes number of nodes and then we'll do uh, what we'll do is we are going to take the half of that count then means what are whatever the count we are we are going to get that means what are the number of nodes we are going to get then we'll take the half of it and then we'll tr uh, travel through the half nodes that means uh, whenever we are going to pass a node we are going to count one then we are going to pass the second node we are going to count two then after passing the third node we are going to count three until which reach the half of this count okay and then we are going to add a node to that location so this is the first method which we are going to do and then in the second method we are going to traverse an inklist using pointers okay so let me just explain these two concepts so uh, let us suppose we are having this linked list this two linked list because uh, we have to see what are the complexities which are involved in counting the number of nodes and doing half of it okay so let us suppose this is the first linked list Okay, so let us suppose we are having these two linked list. Okay, now what is the difference between these two linked list? So the difference is the first linked list is going to ha is having five nodes, but the second linked list is only having is having six nodes. Okay, so that means the first linked list are containing odd number of nodes. Okay, and the second linked list is containing even number of nodes. okay that means if we going to write a function which is the count not function that means this count not function is going to return the count as 5 in the first case so it will be count as 5 okay and in the second case is going to return the count as 6 okay so when we return the count is 5 in that case if we do count by 2 count divided by 2 okay in that case this count divided by 2 is going to return me 5 divided by 2 which is 2 and in this sixth case in this second case if we do count divided by 2 okay then it is going to return me 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 now the question is what is the middle point for these two uh, linked list okay so for the first linked list this is containing odd number of nodes right so if it is containing odd number of nodes that means we are already having a exact middle node and here this node is a exact middle node which is uh, having two nodes at the left and it is having two nodes at the right right but if we see the second node that means here we do not have a exact middle node we are having exactly balanced three nodes in the left and we are having exactly balanced three nodes in the right right now the question arises when we add a node to this linked list and what should be considered as a middle point right now in the second case if we add a node to this position that means that node will be the fourth node that means for that node there will be three nodes in the left and three nodes in the right that means that node will be at exactly middle right but if we add a node to this linked list which is having five nodes that means that newly added node can come at the position number 3 or it can come at the position number 4 because if we have we are having six nodes then in that case we cannot judge which which one is the exact mid middle node right so for example here if we add a node to this linked list right then this linked list will look like this below this below image right and we do not know what is the exact middle is this the exact middle or is this the exact middle okay that means if we add a node here then that newly created node will be at the third position right but if we add a node here that means the newly created node will be at the fourth position right and that really doesn't matter because this third and the fourth position both are the middle right that is means we can simply write a program to add a node by doing count by 2 because in any case we have to add a node after this second node so but that means uh, if we are getting count by 2 as 2 here 5 by 2 is 2 that means if we have to add a node after passing these two nodes to this position 
right and that node will be considered as, considered as a middle right but in the second case we have to add a node after passing these three nodes right and that node will be considered as a middle right so we just have to count the number of nodes and then we have to do half of it and then we we are going to add a node to that particular position okay now let us write a program to add a node at the middle of the string list okay so for that we need a function which is a count node function which is going to count which is going to count the number of nodes in the linked list right so uh, to this count node function we are going to pass the address of the beginning of this linked list right and it is going to return the number of nodes so this will be a count node function so count node and it is taking the address of the head so it is node star head right and then it is going to do it is going to count the number of nodes therefore this number of nodes will be a integer variable uh, integer value so we, uh, we have to take a variable int count right then in this int count variable is now going to store the number of nodes and we have to initialize this count by zero that means initially there are zero nodes okay and then we have to do while head is not equal to null okay then we have to do count plus plus and then 